Hello everyone, Matt Watson here. I'm sat in a Mercedes AMG GLC 63S. Next to me is an Audi RS5 Sportback and next to that is a Tesla Model 3 Performance. So three vehicles which have slightly different body styles but ultimately they're family transport with mega performance. And so of course we can have a drag race. So this Mercedes has a twin turbo four litre V8 with 510 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. It's got all wheel drive. It has a nine speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter, but launch control. And of course, it's a heavy thing. It weighs over two tons because it's an SUV. That Audi is lighter. It weighs 1.7 tons. It has a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6, 450 horsepower, torque is 600 newton meters it has quattro all-wheel drive it's got an eight-speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter launch control as well though it is cheaper it costs 67,000 pounds whereas this Merc is 88 grand the cheapest car here though is the tesla that's just 53,000 pounds it has dual electric motors and combined they produce 490 horsepower and 660 newton meters of torque. It weighs 1.8 tons, so a bit heavier than the Audi and lighter than this. Let's have a race, shall we? But before we do, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, and also, I'd really like it if you'd follow me on Instagram. The link is below the video. It's called at Matt Watson Cars. Anyway, let's get on with the race. There's only one way to find out people, let's action replay. So then what exactly happened? Well, both the Tesla and the RS5 completed the standing quarter mile in 11.9 seconds, but the RS5 took the win by a matter of inches in a photo finish. The GLC 63S meanwhile never recovered from spinning up its rear wheels off the line, but still did a respectable 12.4 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Me and the Audi, we're in drive mode, comfort setting, the Tesla's just being a Tesla, no gearbox. I'm gonna count it in, see what happens. Three, two, one, go! Floor it, go on, kick down, not bad, take off. That Tesla's just gone though. Wonder what speed it takes to get past the Tesla. I just come past me now though, it's more aerodynamic. It's gonna pass the Tesla now. I'm doing 140 miles an hour. Can I get to the Tesla before I run out? Oh, runway, come on Mercedes. Got him, got him, 153 miles an hour. So Tesla, what speed were you going when I came past you? 145 miles an hour. And the Audi? Near 130. And what were you registering on your car in the Audi as you went past him? I was going 147 miles an hour. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to give that to the Tesla because both these cars were going silly speeds until they managed to pass it. But the Tesla was always going to do well with that because it didn't have to kick down any kind of gearbox because it doesn't have one. So let's try something else. What we're going to do now is take that whole gearbox having to change down shenanigans out of the equation to just see how these cars perform. To do that, we're going to make sure both the internal combustion engines are well in the power bands with lots of boost from their turbochargers. So we're going to do the rolling race from 30 miles an hour with them locked in second gear and obviously in their sportiest settings. The Tesla will go into track mode, though I'm not sure it makes a difference, but let's find out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this got off well. Head of the Audi at first. It is a torque engine, but now the Audi's coming past me. I'm doing 90. Tesla, obviously, off first. What speed will it be doing when we come past it? It's a lot closer, this one. The 
more aerodynamic Audi now doing a bit better. Obviously, it's lighter as well. And now I'm compressing to 144. So, Tesla, what speeds were the Audi and the Mercedes doing when they came past you that time? I was doing 125 when the Audi came past and 135 when you came past. So it made about 10 miles an hour difference in each car's case? Yeah, about 10 miles an hour. Well, I think the Tesla won that as well. So it's one to the Audi and two to the Tesla. Finally then, we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. Hopefully this Mercedes can do a... What can I do for you? The blooming voice assistance. Could you repeat? Oh, don't distract me, I'm gonna try and do a brake test. When we hit the line, full emergency stop, see which car stops in the shortest distance. What would you like to do? I'd like to do a brake test, shh. Come on, come on, we can do this, Mercedes. Oh. Please select an entry. The entry is, go away. I would like you to select an entry. I would like you to piss off because you've basically put me off and it's the reason that you've gone and lost this brake test. Look, beaten by the Tesla and beaten by the Audi. And it's your fault because you distracted me. Although I'm sure I probably wouldn't have done much better anyway because this is by far the heaviest car. Select a destination by saying. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bit of a shame that the Tesla didn't win that one because then it could have beaten the Audi overall, but it's two for the Tesla, two for the Audi, and nil point for the Mercedes. What do you want to do? I want to smash your screen in. Can you say that again, please? I want to physically abuse your computer chips. Please select an entry. I'll give you an entry. Cancel.